party, drink. Like party. 15 mil pesos, pesos. Uh, the pictures of black, black babies. It's a music day today. Good music. Okay, ¿cuánto es? 3.500. Good people. I actually paid three dollars for this, guys. Good food. Worst case, check out the grocery store. Where we at, yo? Good energy. Makes for a good time here in Argentina. Oh, uh, no, they, they, they changed the price. What's going on, guys? I'm here in Plaza San Thermo. I think this is the area called Plaza San Thermo right here, and I'm starting my day by eating this fried empanada, ham and cheese. Mm. 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 The idea is I'm gonna just walk around and see the energy here. I was here a couple of days ago with a local. He brought me here, showed me around town. He told me it's really good to come here on a Sunday. So we're gonna just look at the energy and probably pass the same place as we passed um, when I was with the local. All right guys, so let's go discover this area right here. Uh, so what I'm told is you're gonna find people from all over, especially from Brazil here. So we'll just check things out, jump in a couple of markets, just feel the energy out so far. We see a lot of families here. It's uh, particularly going to be a little bit special today because it's the, we're coming off of the holiday weekend. So I'm expecting to see a lot more families here than normal. Mind you, this is my first time. So if you uh, know this area, you're familiar with this area, let me know. See people wrapping up. I might have came late. All right. But I hear like around 4 o'clock is a good time to come. So we'll see. We'll see how the energy is. We'll run through here real quick. Mind you, I want to sh show you the beautiful architecture while you're walking through these streets right here. So dope. Wow. All right. What we got for sale here? Well, you know, your normal, typical vendor things right here that you can purchase. All right. As a matter of fact, this is not the only market that they do here on a Sunday, but I think this might be one of the more popular ones because I know if you go closer to the dock area, you might see something similar to this. <laughs> These damn <it>. What's up? <laughs> oh man. I think I came here a little bit. Uh, a little bit, a little bit late. But uh, just to give you some of the energy right here, we'll see. You got a bunch of chairs here, so I'm assuming this is where you could have bought some food. Uh, this probably this probably starts around 11, 12. <laughs> so it's uh, several hours after that after that time right now. We're approaching six o'clock. So let's see. All right. interesting now the reason why I came at this time and not earlier is because I hear it's like a really good time for uh, the drinks to start pouring seems like the crowd gets a little bit more thicker on that end so we'll keep moving to give you guys a better understanding how this place is Man, we got a live land jumping in the back end Man, there's so much people up that way right here. Uh, shout out to everybody who's been contacting me on Instagram. I've been getting hit up by a lot of you guys and I want to say thank you. And I really want to do videos with you guys, every one of you guys. So just give me some time and I'm going to try to contact each one of you and maybe I'll do a video with each one of you guys going somewhere new, all right? All right, here we go.
this area, so let's go. If you are coming here or you are on a date or you are a tourist and you're looking for something social to do on a Sunday, this is it, actually. This would be it, walking down, and not only shopping, you can eat some of the food here. There's so many different restaurants in this particular area that's really good to try. This whole area right here, we look like we're walking into another market area, so let's see what's going, what we're gonna find there. Hopefully, we're not too late. What's up, brother? <laughs> So once we get in this area, it gets a little bit more tighter because of the, uh, all these different vendors. But you can see a lot of friends hanging out. So we got another area right here uh, to hang out and uh, I guess to buy some more uh, items people are selling. I wouldn't mind living in this particular area. <laughs> On a Sunday, I wouldn't mind the noise that much, you know, to be, it's a very social area um, today, also on another day. So, okay, let's check this out. This is like an antique store. Let's go. All right. See? And not for nothing, guys, I'm sure you could probably find some good gems here uh, that uh, you like to listen to, or these are like the old advertisement posters. And they have them here. I don't know if they're authentically old or remakes, but that's dope to see. These are album covers, I think. Nice. Oh, this is art. They basically say this is art, and they're going for like uh, two dollars American, actually. So that's not bad. Let's uh, look at uh, what else they have here. Come on. All right. Some nice, uh, beautiful uh, crystal ware right here. Uh -huh. I guess this is where you would want to uh, find some pictures to put up in your your house, your room, or your business, whatever you're trying to decorate. Okay. Yeah, like I said, I'm sure you might be able to find some gems. When I went with the local, we also looked at some other antiques that were really nice to look at. I'm gonna see if I can go back over there and buy this camera that caught my interest. So we'll, hopefully, I'll get that in this video. But yeah. <laughs> place to uh, can get some stuff to decorate but everything here seems to be all organized i like clutter you know what i mean like you really need to dig in to find the stuff you need because that's when you might be able to find the the really valuable pieces that people don't know people don't see pretty much everything here looks like we've been it's been taking time <laughs> separated and thought of on the pricing in terms of anything but might be cool you never know you know with argentine history you never know who these watches used to belong to where they came from where they're made here or where they came from um somewhere in europe so it's interesting to see right here guys let's hit the strip and find out what else is in this area Check this out guys, uh, just walking into the area, look, this gives you an idea like look, <laughs> like you're walking back into time, <laughs> just looking at this beautiful backdrop is amazing guys. What they have here, it looks like there's some type of uh, food thing that they're having here for the other vendors. <laughs> so they're doing a little partying while they're serving everybody. That's what's up. And that's my, this must be their little Christmas party they have in here. All right. Oh, man. Look how much people are out there, yo. <laughs> Let me put my stuff to the front. Uh, I hear uh, there's a, a lot about uh, Brendan Cyrus and the pickpocketing. So all my stuff is in the front. This is something you should normally do anyways if you are like walking through a crowd guys it just makes sense walk through if you're walking through a crowd uh, just have everything um, in your front pockets or protected so you don't lose anything All right. you can imagine around one or two o'clock this place being jam-packed you can't even walk through might be a little bit uncomfortable but yeah everybody is wrapping up oh that's beautiful yeah. All right. 
<laughs> Look at this purse they made out of old records right here. Very uh, creative. All right. Okay. Wow. Hello. How are you? Okay. All right. Okay. Smell some incense in the area. Looks like there might be some people who are making incense. Nice, so these guys. So, yeah. Really dope. A lot of uh, wooden pieces for the hair. Okay. Okay, some nice little block toys. Yeah, it looks like for the kids right here. This is nice. Right here. Yeah. Okay. Now we walked into another courtyard right here. I really want to go to that place I went um, last time. So I'm going to look on my map to see where we at. So, uh, get uh, everything right. Okay, guys, I actually passed that market, so we had a double back, and hopefully uh, I can make it over there before uh, things slow down. I, I guess I didn't recognize where I was, but we'll double back and see where everything is. Alright guys, so I think what I'm looking for is on this block. Yeah. So there should be an entry into this area right here. This is where we were hanging out uh, around the bar area. Yeah, that's that psychedelic bar I went to. This is well if I didn't tell you. And so and there should be another bar right here where it leads me into the market area. So let's check it out. Okay. Okay, so this is the entry into the market area. All right, so here we go. Uh, let me see if I have a name of the market. Oh, a name, but uh, we'll look. All right. There you go. Way more people than when I first got here. All right. I wanted to try some Greek food while I was here. Don't worry, I tried some traditional Argentinian food here too. But I told a guy uh, I met that had, he had a Greek meatball or something like that. I told him that I would come back and try the food on Sunday. So uh, I want to make that promise. But there is a lot of traditional Argentinian uh, restaurants here that you can get some good food from, okay? This is this one right here is a good diner right here. A lot of people like to go to try some of the meat. Okay, he remembers me. <laughs> what's up? What's up, man? So I wanted to see Yena Cogente. Hierro San Telmo. Hierro San Telmo. I'm gonna come back and try some of the food, okay? Okay. All right. So I'm gonna go back over there. They rocking. But I just wanted to show you some of the energy beforehand. And so, as you can see, so many people outside. Um, just uh, join their family, gathering with friends, eating, drinking, uh, sightseeing, uh, purchasing items. Check this out. All right, for me so. There's something I didn't see. These are like uh, depictions of black, black babies here. These were actually popular in uh, Argentina from what I'm hearing after speaking to some of the locals. More black babies. Okay. Super interesting. Checking this area 
now. Yeah, I don't know when I'd be filming. The, the place gets a little jittery. The filming, uh, so if it gets a little jittery, I apologize. And sometimes with the light, that's a, a challenge of using a GoPro. If you're wondering, a lot of people ask me what kind of camera I'm using. I'm using a GoPro 8, okay? Uh, 8. Um, might upgrade to a, a 10, who knows? And I might just upgrade to a new camera, to be honest with you, uh, with a gimbal rig. We'll, we'll see, we'll see how things turn out for me. But uh, just to give you guys another view, yeah, there's most definitely a lot more people here. So let me find this Greek uh, restaurant. I think it's on the other end right here, and we'll, we'll check it out. Hopefully they're not closed, all right? This is it. See if he's here. The owner, I don't see the owner here, but we'll go ahead all the same, try some of this these meatballs right here. Hello, come on sauce. You're getting Preva. This, I want to try this right here. Yeah, yeah. No, aquí. Dale. Quante minutos? Cinco, diez. Okay. All right, come back. You're regressing. Okay. Tiene que pagar ahora. I'll pack out this way. Okay, you're, you're okay, so you go to look for something here. Dale. All right, so this is uh, the other place. It's more um, antiques right here, okay? And I think the place I was really interested in is this corner right here. Yes, this lady. Hopefully she still has the camera. You know, since I'm a vlogger, I, I wanted to purchase it. I don't smoke, but... I thought I would get it, but I like how everything is all cluttered up differently. Let's see if we're gonna. Oh, yeah, Sherado! Sherado? Si. Ah, you quiere comprar una aquí, ya yo conozco. Este. Esta cama. Ahí está. Alright. So I got here just in time before they close. Yo le compré una cámara. Uy, boludo, sacaste, hola, hola. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Muchos antiguos. Cosas de Europa aquí. Sí, mucho, sí. Ok. ¿Qué es este? ¿Este es la chiquitita? Sí. Look at all these other cameras. We've been here already, guys. If I didn't show you, well, you've seen it now. That'll be my something I will have. And maybe I'll restore it. Who knows? But it looks, oh, it looks very dope. Who knows? It might be expensive. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Let's see what he says. You actually can look through the viewfinder right here. Really interesting. Yeah. Wow. This is... I like this. Uh, wow. ¿Cuánto? Hoy la última, dice. Esas 15 mil pesos, pesos. Ok, all right, so 15 pesos. He's giving me for a little bit cheaper than uh, the woman. I think the woman was charging mm -hmm. double. We get the racket, the racket. Eh, el el pequeñito, ese sale dos mil. Ok, ¿cuánto es? 3,500. I think the woman was charging double. But uh, we're not going to say that. She's behind me right now. I heard her. But she still don't recognize me, so it's too late. Okay. So that's like around seven bucks, guys. Um, I mean, that's good. Can you say, please? Quanto que é? Quinze? Fifteen hundred pounds. Fifteen. Oh. Yeah. Assim. Oh, papa. É custoso. Não, mira. Dólar. So guys, I'm thinking differently. I'm thinking 1500. He's talking about 15,000. It's mucho costoso. Oh my God. 
Yo ah, pensé... Sí. Daba 1500 pesos. No, y esa es tu uh, esposa. No, mi amiga. Ah. Mi empleada. Porque yo vengo aquí ah, sí. el otro día. Sí, se expongo. Yo pregunto a alguien, yo pensé, ella dame otro... No eres tú. No eres de que tu empresa chiquita. No, no eres tú yo estoy hablando con el otro. Oh, no, they, they, they changed the price. Es muy, muy costoso. Oh. Bueno, tengo que regresar si yo quiero comprar esto. Sí, este. mira. No así. Ok. Eh, 50 dólares. Así. 50 dólares. Uh -huh. Caro. No se consigue. Sí. No tengo ese dinero con mi ahora, pero yo regresé. Pues, ok. Pues, ok, gracias. Ok. So I don't actually have that much pesos on me. I wish I did. I swear, last time we spoke, it was like $30. The woman told me, should have bought it when I did. But that's the nature of uh, negotiating. You, you gotta lock in the prices. Yesterday's price is not today's price. Oh yeah? Como estas? Nice to meet you. All right, thank you. Let's see about this food right here. Let's try some of these Greek uh, meatballs. Okay, so, so it's like uh, some beef wrapped up we so got some nice little tartar sauce right here check it out see? Mm. it's like a blue cheese type of uh, tartar sauce it's really good all right let's try this all right very seasoned meatball <laughs> with all types of different uh, spices and um, herbs in it I mean, when you put it on with the blue cheese, it, it's like a flavorful, super flavorful meatball. Mm. Really good. Really good. Llévalo, llévalo si querés, okay. te lo regalo. Se llama Felices Pastores. Esta es la lista de tema. Ok, ok. Ahí va, hermano. loco. ¿Qué hacen ahora? Ya no más. Y, y ahora tenemos que desarmar y nos vamos, quizás. Yo quizás toco en otro lado. Ahí. Ah. Tocamos ya dos veces acá. ¿No hay fiesta uh, después de eso? No, no. Feria. Un feria, party. La feria de... Ah. Party. Party, drink. You like party? Yeah, party. Yeah, yeah. Eh, el otro lugar. Oh, wow. Acá no, acá no, acá está, mirá los tambores. Allá hay una cuerda de tambores. Uh -huh. Y si no, acá, así, birra, por ahí. Ok. ¿De dónde so, sos? Es el, yo soy de Miami. Saludos para Miami. Uh, 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 
el band se llama Felicia the, the, the name of band I, I am speaking Happy so Pastors so. en inglés se dice Happy Pastors <laughs> Happy Pastors <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, usted le tiene estilo hello okay. 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 ¿cuánto años ustedes un band? ocho wow ustedes juegan hicimos, muy bien hicimos eight, eight years playing together vamos para Miami si sí, si quiere pasa y tu vas a tu vas a ser muy vamos. popular allá si sí. 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 vamos party 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 yeah, like yeah, the yeah. party yeah, that's what I'm looking for right now sí, yeah. everything's finished now everybody relax no now relax to, no unza, relax unza 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 y no cuantos años tu uh, eh, juega el dog nueve nueve oh Nine years. Nine years. You're yeah. really good at it. Yeah, yeah, You're really good. good at it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, brother. Okay, man. All right, okay. Nice meeting you, man. Nice meeting. It's just been a music night today, pretty much. I got here late, but uh, I think this might be the fun part, okay, of coming out, actually. Just being in the street, dancing, listening to a different type of music, and the good energy. I met some of these guys yesterday at a, a cultural uh, club I went to. Okay. somewhat of a lounge area for people to, uh, to enjoy live performances from this block the next block the other block family still out here people still have their cups in their hand I'm still trying to figure out where I can get a drink uh, so we'll keep moving until we find one I think I found something looks like they might be giving out drinks let's see so, worst case check out the grocery store Cerveza. I tried these before, the Ipa before, so those are really good. And then you have these lemon vodka. The lemon vodka is a huge bottle. I don't know if I can be, you know, drink all of that. But this is something I would be interested in trying. We'll try this. No tengo vaso. 350. Okay. ¿Tú vendes el vaso? 330. El vaso no. Terminó. Ah. A ver. Okay. I guess we're in the right spot. You drink and then you go out and come back and drink some more. <laughs> you bring back the bottle. Tiene que regresar con el botella. No, ese no. No, ese no. Okay. Okay. Beach. Miami Beach. Yeah, I'm going to the beach. Hey, Bobby. All right. We're going to go to the <laughs> All right, okay. All right, guys. So, yeah, right, I got my drink, and I see a lot of people with these uh, huge drinks. So, let me try this one right here, see if it's good. Hey, San Telmo, como Miami, pero con barro, con tierra. Yeah, si, si, por eso. Where is William Fire. Where's the mejor bar aquí? Aquí, en la calle. La calle. <laughs> I thought he was gonna say that the streets. What's up? What's up? What's up? Hold on. People are in good mood right now. All right. If you can guess what this tastes like, type this down below. And the answer is yes. Tastes like Smirnoff. Look, guys, look at this guy right here. Man, I drank 
the ball chains right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Argentina. So the guys told me, come on, tag along with them. They're gonna get the party started. Okay. Carne Argentina. Yeah. Carne Argentina. We go listen. Let's go. Music Argentina. All right. I saw this dope place on the strip and I thought I'd go ahead and try some of the food here. They actually are barbecuing or grilling some of the meat right here. Look at that. Oh my God. They got the sausage and that's, I don't know what that meat is, but I'm getting some of that with some french fries. So we're going to check it out. Super dope. As you can see, this is a popular place to eat. A lot of people here. More adults here than uh, young cats. The young cats still on the strip. But I thought I'd show you the energy here as well. It's, hey, yes, it is. Wow. I actually paid three dollars for this, guys. All this meat and these French fries. Obviously, the presentation could have been more. But what do you want for three dollars, man? It's a lot of meat. Oh, and it's very tender, guys. Look how. Oh my God. It's super tender. It doesn't look like that though. Chimichurro. So maybe that and then uh, we'll try it all. But I just wanted to show you how like easy it is thing. The top is a little bit crust up, but here, this is where the, the magic happens. Look how it is. Look how, look how, oh my God, come on. 
Put some of this in there, let's see how that is. Very good. It reminds me of a thing called legging, it's just like to make. I think this is like diced up spinach with some other type of spices. It makes really good for the eat. The food is done. <laughs> Place is good. I see a lot of people are coming here to get the empanadas. They keep reloading those, so this might be a cool spot to enjoy some of the food. All right, guys. All right, the name of the place. Come and say, I'm in the lugar. Just nivel. Just nivel. Okay. All right. All right, guys. So this is the name of the place. That's nivel. All right, and this is their Instagram. All right. All right, guys, some time has passed, and as you can see, they slow down on the music, but there's no shortage of people here enjoying their time. Uh, a wire array of people just having a good time, um, just chilling and then vibing. Everybody's here because they just want to be in a crowded area. Feel like something's happening, you know what I mean? So, without anything, this is super dope just to see the energy of the people here enjoying their time. Vibing. This is just energy. Just soaking it up. As for me, uh, personally, my phone is dying. I gotta find like a place to charge my phone. I literally don't want to leave. But I don't like to be around. I don't like to be out without my phone charged. Maybe it's good to get disconnected sometimes. I don't know. Man. What are your thoughts? I'm gonna end this video here. Hope you enjoy it. I hope you uh, hope my Argentine people enjoy it too. Showing you uh, more of the culture here, what, how you guys get down on a Sunday. I think it was cool. Uh, energy, the foods there. Yeah, just a good vibe, man. Good party time. This is this, this is good. This is good. I like it. Yeah, I'm gonna be in Argentina in a couple of more weeks, so don't miss any of my videos, man. Just check out my channel and see what else uh, videos I have from Argentina or any other country. I've been to a couple of them. All right. Anyways, peace, love, and I'll see you in the next one. Yo.